Okay, some of you might have a problem with your seat back. Um, not releasing when you pull it. Uh, there is the motorized uh, part where you pull it and it uh, it operates the, 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 the motorized seat and, and tilts the seat forward. But uh, the actual cable, so there's two, there's, first you have to remove the seat back. There's two, uh, I'm trying to do this quick before the light goes away. And it looks like it's going to storm. So bear with the sound here. Okay, underneath the seat back here, there's two uh, T5 Torx bits. You take those off. Again, sorry, bear with me. It's going to take a second to pull the seat back. You take those off, and then you slide your seat down and off. I'm also fixing uh, the top of the uh, the side uh, seat belt cover, but that's no big deal. Um, and then. Where is it? Okay, I'll find the little cover that goes over top of the, uh, the seat back release handle. There's two T5 screws in there, one up under the handle. See there, it's up underneath. And one inside, right there. Take those two off and you can pull this off. Again, disregard that I've got the whole back off because I'm doing something else as well. Um, so then you're going to see as you pull, you can see that pulls on these two cables. This cable, I'm not farting, that's me sitting on the door frame. <laughs> um, it goes down into the, uh, the, the frame here, that goes to the electric motor. And this one here goes all the way across and you'll see it go over to the actuator there. Now when I pull up on it, you see the actuator come up. Now I can't pull it forward, but if the actuator came back just the tiniest little bit more, so it's awful noisy here. I'm gonna hold that and do it this way. If the actuator comes back the tiniest bit more, I can pull the seat up. So what we're just gonna do is, these are, I think, eight millimeter. I pulled. Yeah, these are 8mm, so we're going to loosen the lock nut on the top and the lock nut on the bottom and we're going to lengthen this cable by turning it and we're just going to lengthen the cable sheathing. Same as adjusting a cable on a bicycle, a brake cable or anything on a bicycle or on a motorcycle. It's almost at its length, and that is enough to make it come forward. So now I can just tighten these two screws up, and we're done. And uh, again, two, two T5s on the bottom. You can actually see through here, this is where they attach to the bottom of the seat. And then the seat just slides down and out. Very easy. Um, and then there's two T5s to take off the plastic cover on the handle here. So you can get back here and adjust these nuts. Actually, you can probably get through. No, you can't. There's the little screw there. So you have to take those two T5s off, and it's pretty simple. It'll take you about uh, 10 minutes. Might as well show you the seat while I'm done. Um, no, I'll do that later because I'm running out of light and I don't want to finish this. Okay, thanks. Okay, so here's the seat back all put back on, and the uh, seat back release mechanism's fixed. And that's back on, and this part is fixed, and looks like I'm going to have to do the other side too. Um, might as well do a video on that tomorrow when I fix the other side. Yeah, I'm sick of ham-fisted mechanics doing crap that they have no idea what they're doing. I don't know who works on these things, but uh, anyway, yeah, not brain surgeons, that's for sure. Uh, I'm just going to put the seat back in, or the seat bottom in. I'm going to show you that now, actually. Hopefully you watch the other video on it, but uh, if not, hey, here's a seat bottom for you. Uh, so that's now all tightened up, and other than the uh, the wear cracks in it, um, 21 year old seat. Hey, what can you expect? 
Uh, I didn't bag bomb it. Uh, I mentioned in the other video I was going to bag bomb it. I can't find my damn bag bomb. Got to go to the, <laughs> the truck store and get some bag bomb. So it's called Utter Butter. Uh, same type of thing. It will take out and release these lines in here and uh, plump up the leather and recondition it. I got a lot of it out. Uh, the creases are a little darker in the video than they are in person, but uh, a lot of it's out. So we're just going to put this seat back in and we'll be done.